one seed. I didn't realize that was for all the marbles. I would have, uh, well, you yeah, know, now they're in grand finals. So now these guys, get to get the scrap. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first <laughs> major here. The idea that there'd be a finals and a grand finals is a little bit silly to me. Uh, because finals are finals, and what the hell are you talking about? Um, but all right, we're back in it. Wolf and Kurja, a dual Yid DFX. Love to see it. Red versus blue, blue Pikachu's. Um, Very even right now. Let's see what the Yid can do to respond. So wonderful from Wolf. And that's that. Yeah. I mean, DFX was playing some Mario before. Uh, I'm curious to see if he'll pull that out again. But in a Pika and Kirby world, not always very kind to other characters. Not uh, so I wouldn't blame it at all for just keeping it like this. Uh, see if Wolf can, can do anything. I always do love uh, doubles here on 64 because you will see some characters that you wouldn't necessarily see in singles. Uh, characters that are better support characters. Uh, uh, obviously not the case here, as it's Pikachu's and Kirby's. <laughs> um, but a bit before, when we had Mr. Fingers uh, playing Yoshi and Ness. I'd love to see that very much splitting the board. It's a battlefront. <laughs> it's a lot of right multiple now. hitboxes being thrown And a thrown nice out. back throw from Kurja. You know, that's... Is that what this game's all about? It might be. The throws are just... <laughs> the throws are gnarly, The throws man. are gnarly. And there he goes. Wolf is killed just by like a that. back throw from a Pikachu. Ah, nice back air. I will say, I always appreciate that... Uh, that no matter who it is, Pikachu's probably wearing a party hat. Just lightens the mood a little bit. Oh, and a... Chase off the edge. The wolf is hit off. And any follow up? Nope, he makes it back safely. Oh, up air oh. and a fantastic down B. Doesn't kill, unfortunately, but uh, yeah. the mental damage, though. It's true, the read. You don't see the down B too much. Wolf takes out the Yid. Ooh, nice. That's the classic Pika. Looks like Just take him across the fight back. Up. A big throw from Kurja, and some nice damage from Wolf. This is dead even. Crazy. Back throw, it is dead even. Oftentimes, this game is wonderful, because oftentimes it can feel like it is not. And then you, you check the stocks, you check the games, and you realize it is dead even. This game can turn on a dime, <clears throat> and that's the beauty of it. Nice back throw from DFX. Recovery. Successfully landed into a forward air to Wolf. Wolf is thrown off the stage. Ooh. Uh, Rick, he didn't make the recovery. That was a great job by the blue team supporting each other, getting that kill. Right. Can Wolf connect? Fantastic. The Yid makes it back, gets to a kick, and that's it. The Yid will recover after a kill. Yes, and he, that was he, down to the wire. He went for it all right there. If it had worked, that could have been the swing he needed, but... That yeah. was some quick, quick change. Yeah. But it's what you're after. Well, let's see if we're going to see any changes here. No changes no, here at all. They're just, they're just ripping it. Land. They're just ripping it. All right, it. both teams feeling confident they can establish dominance in Dreamland. All right, DFX and the Yid, psyching them out, getting a throw. We'll need to see some edge guarding from the Yid and DFX. That is what they'll need to defeat Wolf and Kurja. Wolf right here kind of just threatening with that up tilt. Almost Wolf nets with, him a kill. With the back air there. I mean, the Kirby just standing there. It's really intimidating. Uh, like, Kirby on he's, Dreamland. He's just kind of, I mean, yeah, it's home field advantage always first makes off. makes me uncomfortable. But uh, look at nice, that. He just nice kind of, he just waits. Forward smash. I mean, it's what you can do. It's, uh, it's doubles. People are distracted. People are stressed out. And uh, you got to take advantage of that. You're Kirby. You're a puffball. You're a brick wall. You can be a lot a, of things. You're a lot of things. 
you're a sword slashing guy who goes straight up and straight down. And a nice back air from the Yid to kill Wolf. And again, E. Oh, fantastic. The Yid and DFX are up, both getting a stock on Wolf and Kurja. DFX leading the charge, it looks like. Wolf is in there with the neutral air. Get the Yid outside the box. He's back. Wolf off stage. The Yid trying to defend. Nice up B to save himself. However, like always, it'll become a two point. Nice defensive maneuver from Ah. Unfortunately killed. However, kept them at bay for a long time. Oh, that might be it. If, uh, oh, no. if the Yid and DFX get a kill on Kurja, they'll even these odds. It's just a matter of if they can and how hard they can. And that'll be it. Yeah. DFX and the Yid are up this game. Man, I can't even imagine trying to keep track of both those Pikachus up these. Oh! I still don't even know if saying the Yid and DFX are matching up with the right Pikachus because you can never be quite sure. You know, I think that really speaks to their chemistry as a team, you know? Who are you going to keep track of? And that's it for the Wolf. The Wolf goes down. Just like that. And DFX and the Yid have the advantage. And it's only a, a zero to one favoring Wolf and Kurja here, so this would be big to tie up the game. Who knows? And that is that. But there's gonna be a stock share from DFX and the Yid, of course. What else are you gonna do? That was a really, really good uh, double hit. Ended up killing uh, Kurja. Nice decision. And we'll see what happens. I truly love Ooh. this game, how quickly it can change is just fantastic. Whoa. And when you have a teammate to protect you while you recover, which is the most brutal, oh, brutal, wow. punishable part of this game, and that's it for Wolf. We'll see if DFX and the Yid can destroy Kurja, and uh, odds are in their favor. But you never know. Due to this game back throw, and that's that. As it always ends, the games with a good back throw. At 1-1. One, one. Do you think the back throw is good in Super Smash Bros. 64? Well, objectively, it is good. As Love in, it. Is it, it, <laughs> it is a very powerful technique. You could definitely argue whether or not it's good as in chill. Cool to watch. Cool to watch, Well, cetera, we differ greatly on these, uh, on these fundamental matters. <laughs> I think it is cool to watch. I mean, uh, you know... It's a thing to always be worried about. It's a thing you can always threaten, uh, and it defines the meta of this game. It does, in a sense. Not not the only thing, but it's a big defining factor of it. And you always have to fear the back throw. The throw and the shield. I really, I love watching players go from 64 to melee or vice versa, because the two things that are always neglected are the shield, where if you're coming from 64 to melee, you're never going to shield because it's rare for you to shield in this game. You're, you're exposed, you're vulnerable, so I'm going to break the shield more often than not. Yeah. Uh, and then also the grab is overutilized if you're coming from Smash 64 into melee, where the grab is is not the OP move that you wish it was. Well, melee it's still pretty good, but you, you won't necessarily but get kills off of grabs straight exactly. up. Exactly, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Your yeah. grab is not the be all and end all of your move. Yeah. When I'm when I play as Ness and get a grab off and back throw you, <laughs> I'm pretty confident you're gonna get killed. <laughs> but if I'm uh, in melee getting a throw, it's like ah, this is the beginning of a combo that I need to get off. Yeah, exactly. It's a more immediate uh, reward, more immediate gratification from the 64 throw. I think that's probably why you like it so much. The grab. Yeah, it's just oh, you, yeah. you, you get a throw and then oh, it's yeah. just no, off the stage. I, lo I love the greasy, the greasy kill. Yeah, it uh, is very oh. greasy. You can say that for sure. There we go. All right, Wolf and Kurja up Ooh, on the these, stock. These are all very even sets. Uh, these they are. They're exciting matched. to watch. Very exciting to watch. Uh, um, about 
about half of the number of 64 contestants from last shine, which is unfortunate, but uh, the, the, the quality of player that's remained is just fantastic. Yeah, some of these guys are legit for sure. I mean, most of these guys who enter doubles, to be honest, are uh, pretty legit. You well, don't, you yeah, don't, they're going to be in singles. Yeah, you don't enter, uh, you know, a lot of other stuff going on here at Shine. It's a really good event. Um, people here are entering 64 doubles. They're entering it because they care about this game and they want to win. I mean, oh, wow. And We've, Wolf and Georgia really. It seems, it seems like whenever we talk about something else, we go on a tangent. Something uh, happens here. Players just take his opportunity to you've been uh, take watching. Stocks, I mean, yeah. you've been paying attention. It's not like you're layman, but goodness me, the last game was incredibly uh, measured. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Combo. Well, that's the uh, nice kill. Great kill from DFX. Double kill? Two kills. Fantastic. Always love to put that on the board. It's still best of five, even if he loses this one. And a back throw. Nice. He's got him where he wants him. He's a spicy little electric mouse, and he's not going to take no for an answer. Let's see if he can make it back. Oh, wow. Nice job great, covering the invincibility. Recovery. Good job by Kurja. And that's some fantastic uh, edge guarding. Ah, nice. Energy. Great down. Ooh. Great down. Kurja says, wait one second. I'm not done with you yet. And that's how it goes. Uh, 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 sort of a strange turnaround. That almost, that game three seemed like a sort of throwaway. Yeah, I mean, that's how it goes sometimes. You know, you'll just blink. Yeah, and you lose control. Yeah, seriously. You lose control of the match. Well, that. That will go to Wolf and Kurja. And these guys are just sticking to their guns. You're not seeing any of that crazy counterpicking really, stuff here. Are. And it, it's, it's not been wrong. I mean, that last game was the first game that seemed uh, to, to favor Wolf or Kurja. I mean, for the most part, it's been some pretty heavy, balanced play. And I'm yeah. like, you're seeing DFX go after Wolf here. Right now. A nice hit on no. Kurja. Double Pikas kind of taking control a little bit. Double Pikas are taking control. It, it's bizarre to watch from last game where it, I feel like now they're they're working as a unit. Unfortunately, the Yid just hit the FX. But, uh, you know, you can't play this game without friendly fire. The Yid says, hey, DFX, get out of here. I'm trying to kill these guys. That's a showing from the Yid and DFX. Two quick early stocks. Uh, not too much damage, although now it's piling up. Great upbeat of the ledge. Nice tilt from Wolf. Nice, so nice recovery from the Yid. All right, and a forward smash from Wolf to end the Yid's career. <laughs> and a throw. The effects has gotten Wolf off the platform, which of course Kirby, the craftiest recoverer that ever did live, and that'll be a nice hit. Will of course have his jumps back, and a nice, nice recovery from Wolf. Goodness me, <laughs> just Kirby, just smacking Kirby. Kirby you know, just kind of smacking everyone. You Ooh. hate it and you love it. You gotta respect it. It's just so frustrating. Uh, do you see that right there out of the blast zone? And that's it. All right. Still even. And that'll be it. Goodness me. That was a quick death <laughs> a <laughs> from the Yid. And now these games have taken a turn. Uh, perhaps some overzealous aerial combos. Uh, combos off the ledge. Somehow, despite it all, Wolf and Kurja up one stock. That was a crazy sequence of events. Uh -huh. A lot of blasts. Nice job getting out of that with the up B. Uh, you're going to see Pikachu's do that a lot. Wow. It's one of the best ways to get out of combos in this game. I do want to praise uh, the Yidden DFX, most likely Kurja, although I've been, I have been focusing mostly on them. have been having some great up Bs just landing right on the ledge and uh, avoiding any potential danger. That Kirby up throw, man, or, or forward throw, I should say, excuse me. Uh, it's pretty brutal. 
Well, Kirby's a, he's a brutal character. It's pretty surprising, considering he, he could arguably be the cutest character in this game. Yeah, Definitely has, the cutest character, no questions asked. He has the most brutal throw. He actually just takes him from Ooh, the top. Most, oh, because he slams him. Uh, he, he slams him. That's well, pretty violent. I do think that, uh, for me personally, you know I love Ness. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, but I do love seeing Ness grab someone telekinetically and just yeah. flip the hell out of them, and just spin them around. You have to wonder what's going through the character's head when they're getting grabbed oh, I by just... literally air, nothing else. Well, you know, it's it's one of those little things. You know, when in melee, when Peach slaps with her crown, Mewtwo picks up items with his mind. I just love that little detail that Ness is, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Great showing by all the players again. This has been a really, 